Many of us look forward to soaking up the sun in a different state or visiting family and friends, but COVID-19 has changed a lot of people's plans in the past year. Now that we're eight days into 2021, we wanted to know if people are making plans to travel this year. Our David Chasanov spoke with a Springfield travel agent and a national travel expert about all of this. So David, are Missourians traveling this year? Yeah, but it depends who you ask. Some people say COVID-19 didn't affect their trips at all this year or last year, but one woman would tell you the exact opposite. I have traveled one time out of Missouri. In the past year, Stephanie Rapp only went to Arkansas. To go dancing. She wanted to bust a move elsewhere, too. I had plans this year to travel to Florida. I was going to go to Sweden. I was going to go to Texas, Chicago, and Delaware, all for dancing. One thing stood in her way. Ruined all my plans. But Springfield's 417 Travel Agency says that's not how things panned out for everyone. Our major destinations, uh, about 60% of our business in Mexico and the Caribbean has been open since May, and we've had travelers going. Definitely not as much as we're used to, but we have had people travel. Co-owner Travis Paquin says getting someone to cancel a vacation, even in the middle of a pandemic, is difficult. Honeymooners, anniversaries, we've got a lot of safety protocols in place in these destinations. And most of our clients are telling us that they, they, they felt safer in places like Jamaica or Cancun than even here in the state. Thanks to some of the resorts having misting machines, mask guidelines, and hand sanitizer. They've reduced the occupancy of the resort, so they're at 60 percent. On a national scale, travel editor Peter Greenberg says people have gone from working in an office to their home and now anywhere. We're seeing people making choices to literally leave cities with their entire families and go to vacation homes and they can do so affordably. Mom and dad are working remotely. The kids are learning remotely. They have all the social distancing they want. They're not stuck in a long commute every day or time in their car with gas or just delays and they're not going out to eat every night. And Greenberg has been studying the travel industry for more than 40 years, and he says in a time like this, people should do their research before traveling, which means look into how your city of choice is following their guidelines.